Good morning, everybody. Lee Brower here. Welcome to this week's edition of Meaningful Monday. I am grateful to be here with you, and I am glad to be here with you. You know, um, are there some days, truthfully, come on, are there some days when you feel like your brain doesn't want you to feel happy? Maybe it's off worrying about something, stressing about something, but it's not going to let you feel happy. But let's dive into a topic that's close to our hearts. That's happiness. It's easy to find all sorts of happiness advice out there, isn't it? It's everywhere. But let's focus on insights grounded in neuroscience. After all, neuroscientists spend their day unraveling the mysteries of this great frontier, our minds. So what is it that neuroscientists say we should do? It's one question. Just ask yourself. Ask yourself one question. What am I grateful for? Now, gratitude is awesome, no question about it, but does it really affect your brain at the biological level? Yep, it sure does. Interestingly, when you have these moments of guilt or worry or they're constantly with you, your brain center, your reward center in your brain lights up. Now, not because that's a healthy long-term solution, but because it offers a quick fix and you feel like you're in motion. But we're not about quick fixes, are we? We're about sustainable happiness. And if you want sustainable happiness, listen to what we're talking about. Gratitude does more than just make us feel good. It's actually proven that it biologically boosts our brain's feel-good chemicals. What are our feel-good chemicals? Dopamine, which is like, well, butrin if you get a prescription or serotonin, which is like Prozac if you get a prescription. You don't need to get those prescriptions. All you have to do is ask the question. That's all you have to do. You see, you don't have to have that perfect life to be grateful for. It's about the quest. It's about the quest itself. The act of searching for gratitude enhances our emotional intelligence. And it even changes our brain neuron density, making it easier over time to harness a grateful outlook. That's pretty cool. That is way, way cool. And it's not, the practice of gratitude isn't just about our own personal contentment. It's an arrows out approach. When you express gratitude to others and you acknowledge it, and and you, you, it's like creating a virus that kind of runs out there. We're sending out arrows of positivity, creating a loop of goodwill in our relationships. They make them feel better and we just don't know how far it goes. And we feel better. So shouldn't we start each day, each day, and maybe finish each day with what am I grateful for today? What am I grateful for right now, today? And just by asking that question, we're going to get the shots of dopamine and serotonin. Our body is going to get stronger. Our brain is going to get more used to it. If you engage in this act of discovery, you share it with those around you, Let's, if we do that, we'll have a week that a spiral of happiness by looking for, finding, and sharing our gratitude. You see, it's about the flow of positivity. It's like a river. It's not storing it up like a reservoir. So let's keep gratitude at the forefront of our minds as we move throughout the week. Let's go big with gratitude, begin in gratitude. Let's go rig with gratitude. That means responding gratitude. And let's fig in gratitude, which means finishing gratitude. My prediction is that if you will ask these question, this question every day, that you will become an attractant and you will attract greater relationships and greater opportunities into your life. Isn't that what we all want? Isn't that what we all want? And the, the other thing that you're going to have is you're going to also create ripples, ripples that you'll never see. Sometimes a simple thank you to someone that, that, was, not, that was not expecting it or reaching out and helping someone who was not expecting it. And somebody's watching, those ripples go on forever. So here's to a week of gratitude, growth, and giving. Let's live life deliberately. Have a meaningful week, and we'll talk next week. Bye-bye.